Hi, I'm Kayla Roberts. I am a childhood victim of human trafficking, and I have been in the U.S. for 10 years now. I was born in a very poor village in China and was raised by a very abusive father, mentally and physically. I remember one day and when I was in second grade, um, he came home, he was just in a bad mood and was telling me, uh, he, a bag of potato was worth more than I do because at least a bag of potato can feed more people, but what can I do? And for 14 years, I was told I was worthless and he is so disappointed. After my biological mom has passed away, I was sold to the smugglers by my father. He told me that he has took care of me for 14 years and it's now my time to pay him back. So I was trafficked into the U.S. when I was 14 years old. I had no idea what was going on and was fortunate, uh, fortunate enough that police came up, uh, came and pretty much just uh, rescued me. And I was sent to a center in Chicago for undocumented minors, and where I was able to call home um, in China and talk with my father. And during my time there, I was I was alone and I was scared. I didn't speak the language, and I asked my dad. Would it be okay if I come home because I miss home? And he told me, no, nope, um, there's no home for me there anymore. Um, if I ever come home, there's two options that he had for me. One is either he would kill me or he would give me a bottle of medicine and have me kill myself. And he also made sure to have the smugglers to contact me and threaten me at the center to make sure that I don't return home. I was devastated. I, he was my only parent that I had at that time, and I knew I was alone, and I have to do um, everything I can to take care of myself. And I was very blessed um, to be put into a foster care through Bethany Christian Services, and all of my family here, um, they are here today with me, and I would not be who I am today without any of the person here. <laughs> they, the family and the community, they just took me in and loved me for who I am. Um, and they told me and they taught me that I was worth more than, way more than a bag of potato. <laughs> <laughs> and they encouraged me um, to pursue my dreams. I graduated from high school with honors. I worked hard and I volunteered at various places in Grand Haven, Habitat for Humanity, um, Love Inc. I also went on various mission trips through um, church where I got a chance to learn about Jesus and I found my faith. And I went on a mission trip to Lake Charles where I volunteered um, after Hurricane Katrina to rebuild houses and I went on mission trips to Kentucky and New York to work on, uh, to work at a um, vacation Bible school, summer camp for children there. And then I met, through church, I met the love of my life, Seth. Um, we dated for two years when he was in Air Force and we got married when he got out of Air Force. And in that time I graduated from Grabs Community College um, with honors. And um, thank you to Jesse, the scholarship at Western Michigan University. I was able to continue um, with my higher education. And I am a, proud to say that I'm a recent graduate from Western um, with honors. And, <laughs> and through, um, when I was at school, I had opportunity to volunteer at the community in Kalamazoo at homeless shelter and um, volunteered at an assisted living center and occupational therapy clinics for adults and kids and was uh, involved at various student organizations on campus. I have worked hard and made a life here for myself and made connections with everybody here today for me <laughs> and who loves me so deeply and I can't imagine living without any of them. And 
I've done everything that they have asked me to do. I follow every single rule, never worked, never driven a car, and file every single application that I have to fill out, pay every speed, and I have attend every appointment. And here I am today facing deportation. And every legal route has failed me, especially um, prosecutorial discretion by President Obama's administration, which is supposed to be a promise and safety net for people in my situation, which is supposed to protect people who have ties, strong ties to the community, who have um, made a life for themselves here, who have a family here, and um, contribute to the community and follow every single rule. But it doesn't work. I applied and I was denied. And out of over 300,000 cases that have been reviewed for prosecutorial discretion, only 7.5% have been granted this. The system is broken, it's not working. So the administration need to fix the pro broken system and make the promise that they have made, fix that. And I would love one day to be able to call myself American because this is my home.